In this video, we'll look at the probability in selecting a committee. And I wrote a number one because there'll be another video on this, version two. This comes from your textbook, page 325. They want to form a committee with three members. So they need three people. And they're choosing randomly from six gymnasts. Six gymnasts. What else? Four weightlifters. And eight long distance runners. So this question says, determine the probability for 5A that the committee is composed entirely of runners. So what's the probability that it's all runners? Well, that's just the number of ways we can choose all runners over the number total. So there are eight runners and we need three people. So the number of ways you can choose three people and they all be runners, the number of ways to choose all runners is from the eight runners, choose three of them. How many ways are there to total choose the number of total possibilities? Well, there are 10, 18 people and we need three of them. So the probability of all runners is just the number of ways to choose the runners, eight choose three, over the number of ways to choose anybody, 18 choose 3. Let's calculate that. On your calculator, make sure you know how to use the choose button. 8 choose 3 divided by 18 choose 3. And we get, let's round to, I don't know, 5 decimals. 0 0.06863. And so, looking at that question, we're actually done. That that's quick part A, therefore there is a, you can write it as a decimal or as a percent, there is a, move it two spaces and you get a 6.863% chance of having all runners be on the committee. How about part B? Part B says the committee is represented by the three types of athletes. We have three types of athletes, so what's the chance you get one of each? The probability one of each is just the number of ways to get one of each over the number of total ways. And the number of total ways hasn't changed much. In fact, it hasn't changed at all. There's still 18 people, and we're choosing three of them. But I'll need a bigger fraction here. I want to choose one of each, so of the six gymnasts, choose one times for each of those choices I can choose from the four weightlifters choose one of them and for each of those choices that's times again I can choose of the eight runners choose one one of the six gymnasts one of the four weightlifters one of the eight runners and we multiply it together because for each of these choices for every gymnast I choose I can choose any of the weightlifters. And for any of this combination of choices, I multiply it by all the choices I can make for the runners. Well, now I just have to calculate that. It's easy though, six choose one, four choose one, eight choose one, all the same pattern. In case you don't know, you can check it out. Six choose one is just gonna be six. And so I can do it all on my calculator at once, but I also know six choose one is six, so I can just times it by four choose one, which is just four, times eight choose one, which is just eight and divide all that by 18, choose 3. And I get approximately 0.23529. And so it's a word problem, probably need a word answer. We can leave it as a decimal. Last time I made a percent, you don't have to. There is a 0 0.23529, that's like 23.529% but I'll leave it as a decimal chance. And so this is an example of how to use probability when selecting a committee.